Who's ready for school? We got our notebook ready. We got our color pencils. If you're in college, you won't be needing this, but you definitely will need this. All we need now is our makeup. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get this clean, natural, easy makeup look for your first day of school. I wish you guys the best of luck this school year. This is actually my last semester of college, my undergrad. So if you're just starting college, if this is your freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, or if you're still in high school, I definitely wish you a successful school year. And I know you're gonna make straight A's. I mean, cause why wouldn't you? So if you wanna see how to get this makeup look to jumpstart your year, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so we're going to to start with face. I tend to always start with my face and especially on a look when I already know that I want to do very, very little on the eyes, I will start with the face. For this, I actually think it's best for you to do more of a CC cream than a full coverage foundation because I know how hard it is to find your perfect shade of foundation no matter what your skin tone is. And on the first day of school, I just wouldn't take the chance of wearing a full coverage foundation of something that does not match you exactly. So if you have a foundation, and I know how easy it is to mess up. So if you have a foundation that's too red, or if you have a foundation that's too light, when it's full coverage, you can see that a lot more. So what I would do is, is create a thin layer of a CC cream or a BB cream that's tinted and then conceal areas that you want to cover up. And that will make sure that your face definitely matches your neck a lot better than it would be if you have a full face of a shade that doesn't necessarily match you. So a BB cream typically has skincare inside of it. A BB cream slash CC cream typically has skincare inside of it, but I don't often always trust that it has everything that I like for my skin. So I'm going to actually mix my CC cream, I'm actually gonna use a CC cream, with my moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I have been using and really liking is the Tula Day and Night Cream. So I'm going to add this on the back of my hand, just like that. I'm going to be using the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream, and it, it, it has SPF in it, and it gives you a buildable natural finish. It's cruelty-free, and it, is, it has a 12-month shelf life. So I've never tried this, but hopefully, <laughs> it looks good. So I have both of those on the back of my hand and what I'm gonna do is just go in and kind of mix it together. So just applying this very thinly all over my face. And to blend this in, I'm using a Sigma F50 brush. It's a dual fiber brush and I'm using this because this is also going to help sheer out the foundation as well. If I want something a bit more full coverage, I'll use more of a flat top. But when you use a dual fiber brush, it shears out the foundation and just kind of airbrushes it on your skin. This is gonna help get the effect that we're looking for. So as you can see on my face, it just looks like I applied a moisturizer, but it does have a little bit of coverage and that's what we're looking for. We want something very natural. We want something that doesn't really look like we're wearing a heavy layer of foundation. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. The next step would be to apply a concealer. So I'm going to apply the Laura Mercier concealer directly underneath my eyes and that'll be the only spot that I apply this concealer because I want to keep the face pretty natural um, like a natural finish and I don't want to pile on a bunch of creams because that'll take away like the whole point and I also want to quickly say on the back of my hand I didn't show this on the back of my hand I had a lot of that foundation and moisturizer left over I want you guys to know that don't feel pressured to use everything on the back of your hand I know you like you don't want to waste products I completely understand that but it's okay like don't feel pressured to use everything on the back of your hand because the more you add the more cakier it'll get so less is definitely more I would recommend to start very light on the back of your hand when you're applying the moisturizer and CC cream mix and then build if you need more but more than likely you won't need more because we want to make sure that we keep that thin layer of foundation I also want to add another tip in there is that if 
if you don't have a CC cream, a quick way to create a CC cream is to use a little bit of your full coverage, medium coverage, light coverage foundation and mix that in with your moisturizer the same exact way. So you don't necessarily have to have a BB cream. The BB cream would just give you even more of a light foundation, which is what we're looking for. But you definitely can create your own by mixing your moisturizer in with your foundation. So now we're going to go in with our setting powder. We're going to use one of my favorite drugstore setting powders and that is the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. I use the shade Translucent Medium. It works really well. It's a really good drugstore powder and the shade is really awesome, especially if we're the same skin tone or lighter or maybe even a few shades darker. So I'm going to take that on a small brush like this and this brush is really good when it comes to setting your face. It's actually called a tapered highlighter brush so I think you're supposed to use this for like a highlight but I love to use it for powder. So I'm going to just set everywhere that I normally get oily. So underneath my eyes to set the concealer first. I don't get oily right underneath my eyes but I want to make sure that I set there so that the concealer doesn't crease. So the next spot would be on the top of my nose. I tend to get oily there and I want to make sure that this makeup lasts pretty long. On my upper lip I get oily slash sweaty. <laughs> So make sure you set that and on my chin and this is just gonna prolong the wear of your makeup I know my freshman year and sophomore year I think I spent a lot of time on campus especially the first week of school I didn't actually live on campus so I just kind of stayed all day and I didn't get to go back to my dorm or anything so I didn't have one so I uh, make sure that your face is set so that you don't have to keep running back to your dorm to like add more powder or anything like that to touch up. So the next thing would be to just add a pink blush. So you guys normally see me use my orange blush and this is cute but it's more so like I like to use this when my full face is done but we're doing like a very natural kind of flawless makeup look with very little product. So I'm going to go in with a pink blush which gives you the appearance that you're like cute. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with rose blush from Laura Mercier and just apply this to the cheek area and then we're going to quickly do our brows and then for eyes I'm going in with mascara and that's it if you want to do a little more you can take your bronzer and apply that to the crease and for mascara I'm using one of my favorites which is the flower beauty lash warrior mascara this is a really good mascara for my style of how I like my lashes to be it makes them thick and long so I like that I'm gonna do it on both the top and the bottom so quickly just very quickly I want to encourage you guys if you have now natural hair to wear your natural hair. It's much easier to start at the beginning of the school year with natural hair if it's something that you're kind of struggling with than it is like in the middle of the year. Start the new school year with your natural hair and if you decide to do that, take me because I really want to see more of you guys wearing your natural hair. And then for the lip color, I'm going to use, of course, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I was about to say the shade, but there's only one shade. <laughs> take this with you in your purse and reapply it as needed. Oh, I kind of forgot highlight. Let's do highlight because highlight turns up the whole look. I'm going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter, a classic highlight. And then just set it all in place with the Mario Badescu Special Spray. So this is the completed back to school makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know down in the comments what you guys plan to wear on your first day, first week, first month for your makeup. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as check out my previous video. I reviewed the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Foundation if you want to check that out. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.